वेलकम इन दिस सेक्शन वी वुड टॉक अबाउट द क्वेश्चन दैट केम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन जोग्राफी पेपर सम ऑफ दोज वी वुड डिस्कस हियर द फर्स्ट इज द मीट्रोलॉजिकल सेटेलाइट डेटा द फर्स्ट मीट्रोलॉजिकल सेटेलाइट डेटा वॉज ट्रायोज वन नाउ ड्यूरिंग द नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज वेदर साइंटिस्ट गेव अ थॉट अबाउट आइडेंटिफाइंग द मीट्रोलॉजिकल सेटेलाइट्स और द मीट्रोलॉजिकल फिनोमिनाज विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेटेलाइट एंड पावरफुल रॉकेट्स एंड ट्रायोज वन वॉज वन ऑफ द इनिशिएटिव फॉर द सेम द नेक्स्ट इज असर्शन रीजन क्वेश्चन हियर द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट से इज वॉट इज वैल्यू सिस्टम इट इज अ सेट ऑफ बिलीफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड कंट्रोल दैट यूनाइट द मेम्बर्स ऑफ अ कल्चरल ग्रुप दैट्स ट्रू पॉलिथिजम मीन्स बिलीविंग इन मेनी रिलीजन्स एट अ टाइम सो बोथ ऑफ दीज स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रू बट वन इज ऑन रिलीजन द अदर इज ऑन वैल्यू सिस्टम सो आर इज ए एंड आर बोथ आर करेक्ट बट आर इज नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर ए द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज अ रिसर्चर वॉन्ट्स यू स्टडी अ रिलेशन बिटवीन फैमिली साइज एंड इनकम so family size and income is what we want to relate now within the income we have different slabs of income okay now from each slab we are studying the family size so we call this sample as a stratified random sampling system we have talked about the sampling and the types of sampling in detail so refer that class for more details now among the correct sequence for development of geographical thought the correct one is greeks followed by romans arabs and dark ages so a become the right option we have covered that in the video lecture cryogenic anything that deals with cold temperatures okay so cold uh, aspects so from the given choices ice cores and ice sheets are the indicators of paleo climatic conditions as simple as that a very direct question if you know the meaning of cryogenic you can answer that question the next is the group of landforms which is produced by erosion so silts in the glaciers uh fryers in the rivers uh, water systems and venti facts in the arid topography so each of the topography you have one erosional feature which is given now across this video we have covered various uh, uh, landforms uh, erosional and depositional across the glacial arid uh, crust and so on now which of the following is not a process of cultural change now acculturation diffusion and innovation all of these three are types of or the part of the cultural change the types of diffusion and the types of cultural change we have covered extensively in our classes on cultural geography so refer that for more detail so here the answer would be segregation the next question is in any thematic map which of the following methods are used to record presence of a phenomena it's a spatial pattern distribution and dispersion now in a dot method what i am trying to do i am trying to put a dot so i am so showing the spatial pattern i am talking about distribution by how many dots and dispersion means how widely they are spread so i am uh, discussing all these phenomena through the dot density map the next is the price and demand of real estate increases as the distance towards the cbd reduces definitely yes so as we come closer to the central business district the price and the demand for real estate would increase the city centers are the most costly uh, the central business district of the city has high concentration of retail stores and cultural and recreational activities again correct so both of these are correct and that's one of the reasons why the price and the demand for real estate is higher as one moves closer to the central business district so both a and b uh, a and r are correct and r is the correct explanation for uh, assertion okay the last question that we would discuss for today is the volume nature and direction of global trade is influenced by various factors what are those so it is influenced by the locational advantage it is also influenced by the historical factors investments and geographical distances so b c and e are the correct options that we would understand here so this talks about the focus on the volume nature and the direction of global trade now in this section we have covered some of the questions that were asked for your geography examination as i mentioned previously as well if you have solved the last 5 years papers you get a good idea good insight about the kind of questions coming in for the ugc geography paper so solve the questions very carefully and focus on some of the important aspects that must be covered before the examination follow the links below for more details have a wonderful day ahead thanks for joining in